It's really nice, lovely action, isn't it? This is my friend Victor, hey. Solak of Lidza, from <laughs> Russia, Georgia, and he's come with his really nice looking ES guitar here. <laughs> We're going to have a lot of fun. Victor's quite an inventive dude, <laughs> and he's bought with me something that I think is pretty special. Zivex Nanoamp. Not just the fact that it's a Zivex Nanoamp, but I've never tried a Zivex Nanoamp. He's also made a cabinet using this crush. Look at that. Check it out. So you were saying that through a 412 it's an entirely different story, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we should... 2x12, it's just... It's too flexible, I should say. Yeah? We're gonna do that right now. So here's my... My current stack of doom. We're gonna put the Zvex on top. Let me just select the correct red bear pick for this particular moment. Weird to feel the guitar like yeah, resonate yeah. through you like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of an. I like it. It's odd. I've not felt anything. I've not played this kind of guitar a lot before, and it's kind yeah. of nice to feel it. <laughs> So um, we're doing the same thing, a Zvex Nano Amp into a Marshall 412 1960s regular cab. This time, instead of using that beautiful Gibson, I'm using this beautiful ML1 from Chapman Guitars. <laughs> Last night. 
That's great. You need four of them in a, in a, in a head rack. <laughs> and then you can have them all set differently yeah. and set them in and out. That would be amazing, wouldn't it? Yeah. A, whole, a whole two watts yeah. if you did that. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So now we'll try my Dark Terror. You take a listen to the Dark Terror. I'll dime yeah. it in for you. I'll get it set up. I sure. <laughs> I, I can be twice this loud. It's no problem. It's, Victor's, Victor's just asked if it's okay for me to be this loud because this is loud. The thing is, my my house. It's a nineteen. It's a seventeen seventies cottage. On the walls, they're all like fifteen foot thick. So yeah. we can be loud. Don't worry about it. Yeah. <laughs> I think this tone seats you actually. Yeah. This one is good. Yeah. It's very good. Actually, yeah, I've got the tune of terror. Yeah, I had the tone of terror. Yeah. This is the thing is, if you have this like this, uh, 15 watts, and you do that, yeah. that is, I mean that's loud, but that's what the tiny terror sounded like. Hit a chord. <laughs> This setting is pretty much just like the old Tiny Terror, but then the second you get it anywhere past, like, there, all of a sudden it's like super, yeah. super high gain. And then the, I think the next kicks in about there, you can hear it go, Woo! Yeah. and it's just like crazy, crazy shit. Oh, yeah. 1973. Blimey. Oh, I've never seen one of these before. This one is just... <laughs> it's really, really, really flexible. These three knobs is just, they're really working. And do you use this, do you use that through the Zvex? Uh, yeah, sometimes, but actually Zvex has a lot of gaming. Yeah? These small tubes are driven quite a lot. Uh, now we've, we've set the JCM800 lead series up, and Victor, through his EC, has rigged up a real tube. The real tube does this if I use my, my foot adapter. <laughs> you know what that sounds like? Sounds like a Wampler Pinnacle. What's that? A Wampler Pinnacle is, is a really, really, really nice overdrive pedal. And this sounds very reminiscent of a Wampler Pinnacle. It's got that crunchy, like, physical feel, but the saturation at the same time. So how much did that cost you? Uh, 250. Wow. Was it 70s? 73. 73. And it's T1, so you can feel this uh, flexibility and also the adaption to the game. 